Um, good morning, everyone. Hopefully you're having a lovely morning so far. Um, today we're going to cover off Fortinet's cloud offerings, uh, help you unleash your cloud security using uh, Fortinet solutions for this cloud era that we're very quickly progressing into. Today, um, I've got with me uh, Vinu, who's our pre-sales engineer based out of Victoria. Uh, thank you so much, Vinu, for joining us. Um, for those that haven't met Vinu just yet, uh, he has an absolute wealth of knowledge. He's got over nine years industry experience um, and he's been with us for quite some time. So um, he's been an absolute wealth of, of knowledge and joy to have with us. Uh, he's got quite a few certifications under his belt. He's got FCA, FCP, uh, FCF, uh, and FCSS, both FCP and FCSS, both for network security. Um, so he's, he's well versed and well certified. Um, and he's in his industry experience, he's done absolutely everything down from um, small SMB, small, small business, uh, all the way up through to data center and education. So um, thank you so much, Vinu, for, for being with us today to talk about Fortinet's cloud solutions. Um, thank you, and for Jerry. those that haven't Good met, Thank you, Vinu. Um, for those that haven't met me, um, I'm our Fortinet enablement lead. Anything that's uh, enablement sort of sits with me, whether that's uh, our technical workshops or doing these webinars, um, that all sort of falls under me. I've got five years experience. I've got a, a wealth of certifications, not quite as much as Vinu. Uh, I've got my FCA, FCF and FCP in network security, um, but I'm also Eki Howe ECS design certified. Um, and I'm sort of specialist in SD-WAN. I actually helped Wavelink get its uh, SD-WAN specialization from Fortinet. Um, and I focus predominantly within the SMB market. Um, I haven't unfortunately had the chance just yet to, to go in and, and work on large scale data centers, but uh, hopefully within my time in the IT industry, I'll get to that point. So overview of the agenda for today is to talk about uh, some of the challenges in, in cloud security and more predominantly what's happening within cloud security at the moment from a business perspective. Uh, we'll then have a look at Fortinet's cloud offering, how it sort of um, its vision is for its cloud solution. Uh, and we'll talk about its, its positioning and, and its products within the market. Uh, we'll then quickly touch on where to find some further details about the individual products and we'll have a Q&A at the very end. Now, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, please feel free to jump in and use the question section in the chat. Um, we'll do our best to try and answer them as we go along. Uh, if there's any outstanding questions or we think it's a really excellent question, we might save it for the very end in the, in the live Q&A section. With that, let's jump in. So a while back, we saw a massive push to public cloud services for businesses uh, and also a massive push um, for businesses to move away from uh, private cloud in order to help reduce their on-site overhead and increase their flexibility and accessibility of these various core programs and core solutions. Uh, now businesses are increasingly moving to software as a service to help reduce the burden on businesses of their bespoke software and solutions that they either have continuing on-site or they've started to, to move into the public cloud sector. And there's four main reasons why we're seeing this major shift from going you know, directly to public cloud to going to SaaS solutions. Uh, and these sort of four main things are scalability. Businesses need to dynamically scale their services up or down based on their demand, uh, and SaaS allows you to do that. Accessibilities, users need to be able to access applications securely from absolutely everywhere, uh, and SaaS is brilliant for doing that. Uh, cost effectiveness, uh, SaaS often reduces the costs related to things like deployment, maintenance, and upgrades, which over the lifetime of the solution generally makes them more cost effective. And also security, uh, generally with all SaaS solutions, security measures are 100% handled by the vendor to protect that service from things like cyber threats. And that reduces the IT team's requirement to understand, okay, what are our security pitfalls? How do we go through and patch them? It's all handled by the SaaS solution for you. Uh, and I'm sure most of us have seen changes specifically in the private cloud landscape 
that have caused a lot of businesses to look for alternative solutions. Um, a really great example of that is the acquisition of VMware by Broadcom. Um, there's a, a multitude of things we're seeing, especially in small business to medium-sized businesses sort of being worried about. Um, some of those are, there's a new licensing structure that may increase solution costs to most businesses. Um, there's a reduction in channel partners that affects the amount of support resources that are out there to help customers. There's new profitability plan by Broadcom, which um, may reduce innovation specifically for the small to medium sized business market uh, as they go through and they do internal restructuring with their engineers and their business planning. Um, and on top of that, while it is a great time for competitors to capitalize on the changes that are happening in the market, from a business perspective, it can be hard to change to another provider of, of the private cloud solution because that's a whole bunch of new training and, and tooling and, uh, and resourcing that they would need to understand and, and sort of remediate for. So um, it's, it's a really good time, especially for businesses to look at what are all of our options? What's the best option that works for us? Uh, and with the adoption of software as a service solution in Australia, uh, it is on the rise. I don't have exact current numbers for businesses making the switch, uh, but we do have some of these relevant statistics. Um, so at the end of 2023, 99% of companies were expected to be using one or more SaaS solution by the end of that year. And approximately 38% of companies run almost entirely based off software as a solution. After 2022, 86% of organizations stated that they had planned or are planning to move all their applications directly to a SaaS-based solution. Uh, and nearly 78% of small businesses specifically have already made the investment into SaaS-based solutions. Um, and these figures indicate there's a significant trend towards SaaS adoption amongst businesses uh, within Australia. And that's a really ripe uh, market. Uh, and it's a great entry and Fortinet has a whole bunch of solutions um, to help make sure that you know, you're secure and the services that you need from a security perspective um, can be accessed as a SaaS based solution as well. So Forti Cloud itself is a SaaS platform that provides integrated cloud based security and management services and it enables you to seamlessly connect, protect, and distribution of data and applications through the various products that are available through Forti Cloud. Uh, it includes a range of portals and services, allowing you to have that easy access and management of your Fortinet solution, all from one central, really intuitive website. It's got a couple of really main advantages, uh, and one of those is that it saves you time and resources by allowing you to manage your assets and services, reduces your IT resources through centralized management and the ease of deployment of products and services, and it allows you to enhance your existing security with their advanced threat protection products that are available through 40 Cloud. Um, and a lot of those products allow you to gain further visibility to view, search, and navigate between the different portals and different solutions to identify and understand what's happening within your network. And finally, for customers already entrenched in Fortinet, it allows them to extend and unify their Fortinet security fabric really easily. Um, it also has really easy access. Like I said, it's, it's one portal and it's a SaaS based portal. So you log into 40 cloud, you get access to all those different SaaS based products, which we'll touch on in a second. It's a unified login platform. So if you've got something like 40 manager cloud, 40 analyzer cloud, once you log into 40 cloud itself, you then get access to those services. It's one login across all of the different products that are in, this, in the cloud. And of course there's multi-factor, um, built directly into. Uh, 40 Cloud to make sure that you are doing multiple levels of security. Now, Fortinet itself has its own cloud security vision that it's made quite public, uh, and it stems around three main things. It wants to make sure that there's seamless security within your fabric. Uh, it's driven by peerless threat intelligence, and that it's security that is software defined and it's automated to help reduce your uh, requirements to make sure that it's secure and it's ready for DevOps and it's container aware, it's, it's agile, it's ready to expand with you. 
Now, for anyone that's familiar and has logged into the 40 Cloud Suite before, um, they'll know that there is a lot of products within 40 Cloud. Uh, we won't be touching on every single product um, that's available on the page. Uh, we'll be touching on a lot of the main products and hopefully by the end of it, you'll know where to go to to get further information about some of these other products. So with that, uh, I'll pass across to Vinu um, and he will do uh, a discussion around some of the key uh, 40 cloud products. Thank you, Kieran. Uh, so next up, we're going to be looking at some key products. Uh, so the first product that we're going to look at is 40 client EMS cloud. So uh, if you're familiar with 40 client, uh, it is 40 nets endpoint uh, agent for visibility control, endpoint protection and uh, remote access as well as uh, ZTNA as well. Um, so, like I said, uh, it's an all-in-one comprehensive endpoint security selection uh, uh, security solution that extends the uh, power of uh, Fortinet's advanced threat protection to end-user devices as well. Uh, it further integrates into the Fortinet security fabric uh, and also provide uh, features such as uh, visibility of your assets, uh, control of your assets from a single uh, point of view, uh, as well as uh, additional ZTNA features like next generation firewall, uh, mal advanced malware, as well as security filtering as well. Uh, in addition, it also provides you uh, application patching as well as uh, zero trust network access as well. Uh, some of the features that uh, 40 client uh, EMS cloud offers uh, is a unified agent, uh, that provides compliance, protection, uh, and security access into a single, a single modular lightweight client. Uh, next up, it's the uh, universal ZTNA component uh, with automatic uh, encrypted tunnels uh, for uh, control validated per session access for applications as well. Uh, next, uh, advanced uh, threat protection uh, that provides uh, security against uh, exploits and uh, advanced malware uh, powered by the 40 guard labs uh, as well. Uh, lastly, uh, simplified management, so policy enforcement with 40 client EMS, 40 gate and 40 gate cloud as well. Um, you can also further enhance it with uh, managed services uh, 40 client as well. Uh, this assists uh, busy IT teams uh, with a managed service solution uh, from uh, 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 Fortinet's managed services team. Uh, some of the services that they provide uh, uh, extends from initial uh, provisioning so that they help you with uh, Fortinet managed services team that supports you with setting up and configuring your tenancy. Uh, then endpo endpoint uh, onboarding, so they create uh, installers for a specific use cases, uh, send invitation emails to users uh, to assist onboarding users to the provision 40, uh, 40 client cloud instance. Uh, security fabric setup and integration, so here uh, Fortinet integrates uh, 40 client cloud uh, uh, security uh, fabric into ZTNA and also assist with uh, incidents response and automation as well. Uh, lastly, endpoint monitoring. So here, uh, Fortinet monitors your endpoints to identify um, high risk devices uh, and also guide uh, customers to remediate uh, these uh, vulnerable endpoints. Uh, that could be an easy target, it's a target for uh, cyber attacks as well. Uh, the next product that we're going to look at is uh, 40 Gate Cloud. Uh, so 40 Gate Cloud is a cloud managed uh, management uh, instance that provides uh, security analytics reporting uh, to 40 Gate, uh, uh, sorry, 40 uh, 40 Gate next generation firewalls and downstream appliances such as uh, 40 switches, 40 APs, and 40 extenders as well. Uh, there's global data center uh, residency, so they've got uh, data centers globally uh, in Canada, Europe, Japan, and in the US as well. Currently, there are over 1.6 million uh, managed 40 gate devices uh, that's been enrolled in this service. Some of the features uh, that 40 gate cloud provides. Uh, zero touch provisioning. So you'll be seeing this uh, zero touch provisioning in most of the products, but this is one of the key elements. Uh, zero touch provisioning provides uh, whether it's a single 40 gate uh, with a 40 cloud key 
or many 40 gates uh, leveraging the 40 deploy uh, key as well. Uh, we've previously done a webinar on this as well. So if you're interested, uh, reach out to us and we can send you the recording for that as well. Um, network visibility, so provides you comprehensive overview of your network assets, device health, statistics, configuration, management from the cloud as well. Uh, security analytics, so we can provide uh, cloud logging uh, analysis and visibility for network traffic, uh, events. Uh, you can also view uh, 40 view monitors as well as curated reports uh, that's uh, available as well. Uh, lastly, multi-tenancy for customers uh, who want a hierarchical structure as well. Uh, Kieran will be touching base on a lot more on multi-tenancy right at the end uh, as well. The next product that we're going to look at is 40 Analyzer Cloud, uh, which provide analytics, reports and compliance across the security fabric. Uh, 40 Analyzer is a powerful log management, analytics and reporting platform. As over 70 40 gate related reports and over 2000 reports for other Fortinet products as well. It's a single console to manage, automate, orchestrate, and respond uh, 40 gate appliances and other appliances as well. It enables simplified security operations and proactive identification and remediation tasks uh, as well. Uh, some of the features of uh, 40 Analyzer Cloud. Uh, centralized uh, NOC and SOC, uh, so it provides simplified uh, orchestration and automation work workflows uh, that provides real-time notifications, reports, uh, and pain visibility um, as well. Um, incident management uh, effectively uh, oversee uh, Fortinet device alerts, uh, logs uh, using analytics or uh, incident response. Uh, resolution uh, and life cycle highlighting uh, impacted assets and timelines as well. Fabric automation, so you can leverage playbooks uh, to simplify investigation efforts uh, through automated incident response. Uh, this allows you to free up uh, your technical staff uh, to do other tasks that's required by the IT teams. Uh, analytics and reporting, so this is automation-driven analytics of network devices, systems, and users uh, with correlated log data and 40 guard threat intelligence uh, analysis of real-time and historical uh, events. Uh, you can further enhance uh, 40 Analyzer Cloud uh, with SOC as a service. Uh, so this is uh, Fortinet's turnkey uh, security operation center as a service offering uh, in a cloud uh, as well. Uh, so in this service, uh, Fortinet uh, SOC analysts monitor your network and security events for threats and escalates when uh, there's uh, an event that's detected. Some of the features, monitor and detect. So they provide uh, seven days, uh, 24 hours and 365 um, days uh, in a year, monitoring of uh, service events, device health, and uh, 40 gate firewalls as well. Uh, so investigate uh, and escalate events. So uh, if there's an event uh, that needs to be investigated or escalated, that'll be done as well. Uh, preventative measures, uh, so preventative control, review, and uh, tuning rec recommendations are provided to you as well. Ongoing reviews, so weekly and monthly reports and quarterly reviews are provided to you uh, to further enhance your security posture. The next product that we're going to look at is uh, 40 Manager Cloud. Um, so as you know, uh, 40 Manager is uh, Fortinet's uh, uh, 40 gate management or uh, security fabric management tool. Uh, so that provides uh, automation driven centralized management of your uh, Fortinet devices from a central uh, uh, console. Uh, administration and visibility of your network devices through a streamlined provisioning and uh, initiative uh, automation tool. Uh, that's integrated uh, with the Fortinet security fabric. Uh, some of the features that Forty Manager Cloud provides, single pane management, uh, so streamlined, centralized, policy and object management uh, that can also provide you uh, things like revision control and also role-based access control as well. 
uh, fabric automation, uh, so zero trust provisioning uh, for ZT branch, and uh, you can also leverage things like uh, templates and variables, uh, meta variables and variables for scalable provisioning as well. So you can use uh, meta variables uh, and leverage it uh, to deploy many 40 gates in a multi site SD WAN solution. Uh, license management, so this is a centralized distribution of uh, licensing and uh, security content as well uh, for air gap networks as well. Troubleshooting uh, and monitoring, uh, so monitoring and visibility for device inventory applications, SD-WAN, LAN edge, uh, and management extension applications as well uh, for traffic, public cloud, and built-in troubleshooting. Uh, the next product that we're going to look at is FortiLand Cloud. Uh, so FortiLand Cloud uh, usually comes in when you don't have uh, 40 switches and 40 APs that's not managed by uh, a 40 gate. Uh, so in this instance, uh, your 40 switches and 40 APs will be managed by the cloud-hosted FortiLand Cloud. Uh, that provides a cloud-based uh, management solution. Uh, it streamlines network operation with automated uh, deployment, uh, whether it's a, a single uh, 40 switch and 40 AP to many 40 switch and 40 AP, uh, where you can have uh, provisioning templates uh, and leverage that to deploy uh, many uh, devices as well. So some of the features, uh, so again, you can do zero touch provisioning. Uh, so it simplifies initial configuration and also onboarding uh, many uh, 40 switches and 40 AP appliances. It's highly scalable, as I previously mentioned. Uh, you can deploy uh, many appliances and it can scale uh, as, as for your organizational requirements. Uh, monitoring and troubleshooting, it can provide advanced device logs. Uh, it can uh, provide information such as topology views, port level views, uh, status monitor, uh, event uh, details, uh, alarms uh, and also things like um, iPerfs, alerts and so on as well. It's also multi-tenancy ready, uh, so you can leverage uh, your multi-tenancy uh, to provide access to multiple customers as well, whether you want to provide customers read-only access or uh, whether you want to provide read-write access. The next product that we're going to look at is uh, FortiSaw Cloud. Uh, so FortiSaw is a Fortinet security orchestration automation and response uh, platform. Um, so uh, you can prevent IT or tier techs by centralizing your event management and automating your event management uh, uh, using uh, the FortiSaw cloud instance. The features, uh, automated incident response, a so centralized uh, automated alert triage enrichment, investigation, collaboration, responses for um, IT and OT security. Uh, case management, complete solution for uh, case management and managing and tracking uh, task assessment um, as well. Uh, vulnerability man management uh, combines risk-based uh, asset vulnerability views, task management and automated patching, uh, leveraging uh, the mitigation playbooks as well. OT security management, so uh, extend integrations and uh, functions, uh, meet OT specific monitoring and playbook automation requirements as well. Uh, some more uh, features, so threat intelligence, so uh, automatically curate intel from FortiGuard Labs uh, and other public sources to uh, assist with threat hunting and collaborating as well. Uh, now, uh, using the uh, Gen AI powered assistance of so Fortinet Advisor uses Gen AI to guide, simplify, uh, and automate uh, threat investigation as well as response as well. Uh, you can also leverage the uh, low or no key playbook, so uh, which is a Fortinet uh, patent design where you can drag and drop. Uh, your uh, playbooks without any technical coding skills as well. Uh, so this is also MSSV ready, uh, where you can do multi-tenancy uh, and shared tenant uh, options uh, as well. Uh, next up is uh, FortiSIM uh, Cloud. 
Uh, so some of the features, uh, so, sorry, some of the uh, some of the features that it provides is unified NOC and uh, SOC analytics, uh, unified data collection and analytics from diverse uh, information sources, whether it's a Fortinet appliance or whether it's a third-party appliance, including logs, performance metrics, uh, SNMP traps, security alerts, as well as configuration change, brings data together for a comprehensive view of the security uh, and availability of the business. Some of the features, real-time analytics, so it provides us uh, performance analytics uh, along with uh, contextual uh, inter-relationship data for rapid uh, triggering of security issues. Compliance reports, so out-of-the-box uh, predefined compliance reports. Um, automated detection, so baseline endpoint uh, server or user behavior uh, reports can be measured as well based on your uh, set of key metrics. Performance monitoring, so uh, monitor basic system uh, common metrics, uh, flow uh, anal analysis and uh, application performance uh, comparing against baseline metrics as well. Uh, lastly, uh, Forti Extender Cloud. Uh, so this is a cloud-based uh, instance uh, that assists you with managing your Forti extenders. That's uh, out. Uh, that, that's out. Uh, that's deployed uh, for your customers as well. Whether it's uh, one Forti extender or many Forti extender, you can uh, manage them using real-time uh, monitoring, configuration, uh, firmware updates uh, using uh, the Forti Extender Cloud instance. Some of the features, uh, global management, so manage thousands of extenders from a single browser with uh, smart grouping functions. Uh, zero trust provisioning, uh, so devices will automatically show up in your account. Uh, all you have to do is configure. Uh, you can also do other management tasks like uh, upgrade, monitor, uh, doesn't matter wherever you in the world as well. Network planning tools as well, so you can create network or uh, VPN plans according uh, to your carrier, uh, utilizing profile settings, um, also configure uh, interfaces, VPN, firewall, routing uh, as, as well. Out-of-band management, so you can configure out-of-band management, so this will allow you even if the primary network is not available as well. With that, uh, we'll go on to Forti Manager Cloud, uh, which is uh, Fortinet's uh, email uh, security uh, platform. Uh, which is an advanced multi-layered protection against full spectrum of email-borne threats, uh, which is powered by a FortiGuard Labs uh, that also integrates into the Fortinet security fabric. Some of the features, multi-layered anti-spam uh, security, uh, security, so multiple sender protocol and uh, content inspection techniques to shield users from spam junk emails. Powerful uh, anti-malware uh, features as well, so uh, protects you against wide range of con continuously evolving threats. Data loss prevention, so a robust set of uh, capabilities for uh, data loss prevention. Uh, it also integrates with the Fortinet uh, security fabric that provides you integrators of compromise and other telemetry that can be uh, shared uh, for enhanced security against your uh, infrastructure as well. Uh, Forty Web Cloud, uh, so uh, it is a hosted uh, web application that provides you uh, security for your web application as well as your APIs without managing the infrastructure. Anomaly detection um, also um, allows you uh, Forty uh, Web Cloud to identify and block malicious anomalies. Uh, without need to uh, spend a lot time, lot of time in spending uh, manual rules as well. Some of the features: API protection, uh, so very sophisticated machine learning algorithms to protect your APIs. Application security, uh, comprehensive uh, web application security, uh, including IP reputation, uh, denial, uh, distributed denial of uh, service protection, protocol validation. Uh, and application uh, attack on signatures as well. AI-based uh, bot defense, so uh, block a full range of malicious botnet activity, protecting websites, mobile malware applications, as well as APIs from automated, uh, automated threats. 
lastly, uh, application uh, attack protection. Uh, it's machine learning algorithms to identify and uh, stop attack patterns as well. Uh, with that, I hand over to Kieran to uh, talk about uh, 40 cloud organizations. Thank you, Vino. <clears throat> so, obviously, 40 Cloud has a very robust um, multi tenancy feature uh, that Fortinet have been building and developing on for quite some time now. Um, and the feature itself is called Organizations. And the feature allows you to manage multiple tenancies as an MSP. You can go through and create and manage multiple sub accounts within 40 Cloud. And this capability is particularly useful for MSPs that need to oversee and control several 48 and 40 AP units, you know, 40 switch to 40 lane cloud, whatever the various different um, interfaces and, and solutions that you're using are across multiple different customers. And it works off three main principles. You've got your sub account management, and this allows administrators to establish sub accounts. And this allows you to segregate customers' networks ensuring that you've got your dedicated management and reporting for each of your clients. Um, so for example, you could have a client called uh, IT um, Simplicity. Maybe they've got a Melbourne and a Sydney network. You can choose whether you would like all of that to be under one sub account, or you can actually break it down further by creating a multiple sub account. So you could have one sub account for IT Simplicity and an additional sub account under that for Sydney and another for Melbourne and separate out all of the management, uh, all of the analytics um, and all of the device um, licensing completely separately in sub accounts. Uh, there's also obviously device management and this enables you the addition of movement and devices between your sub accounts and this allows for flexibility in managing a diverse set of hardware so again if you've got that example of you've got your it simplicity and you've got a sub account for sydney sub account for melbourne you can really easily move devices between the sub accounts um, and you can even move it from one account to the next under your sub account so you could have a piece of hardware maybe you do it for for ctaps um, and you like to assign it to a particular account when it's at their office, you can move devices freely between any of your sub accounts. And then of course, the main thing is your administrative control. Each sub account has its own set of administrators and users, and this allows for granular access control and operational autonomy. So you can have junior admins only have access to set accounts and set access within those accounts, or maybe you have engineers that should only work uh, for particular accounts, you give them access only to those particular accounts. And you can even allow the end customer themselves to get access to their, uh, their sub account. And for them, it'll just be an account. They don't even know that it's a sub account as part of the organization's feature. And they can co-manage or you can give them uh, view access to be able to look at things like reporting and, and um, configuration. It's extremely flexible. Um, if you'd like more information on the organizations, please do reach out at, at any time. We're happy to actually go through and give you a live example uh, and further details about how the organizations feature works within um, 40 Cloud. Now, obviously, as we talked about, there's a, a myriad of different solutions as Venus run through some of the very core ones. Um, there's a lot of different locations to find that information. Um, there's three really useful documents. Uh, one is docs.fordnet.com that will go through and it will uh, provide you technical information about managing um, and deploying particular products. That's really good for engineers, technicians. There's the data sheets that will go through and it'll give you an understanding of what the product is when you sort of want to talk about the product and all of the key highlight features. You know, some of the things that we've talked about today is highlights around products. All of that was all captured from um, the data sheets. And there's another really useful um, in document as well, which is called the ordering guides. And that contains a lot more information um, about the various licensing structures within the different products. Um, and if a customer is looking for this particular license, other things that you may also want to, to look at, including as part of that service. 
Um, so they're really great documents. And of course, um, feel free at any time to reach out to us and we're happy to sit down and, and talk about the solution and develop a solution with you. Um, and when you're looking at the data sheets particularly, if you want to know if there is a SaaS solution for that, that particular product that you're looking at, uh, typically it's on the second page. Um, you'll see here if I change this to a laser. Uh, it says what types of products that is available in. Uh, this particular data sheet for Form Manager comes in an appliance, comes as a virtual machine. It also comes as cloud, which is that SaaS based solution. Uh, with that, we might open it for uh, Q&A. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot them through into the Q&A section. Um, we did have a question about 40, um, 40 extenders out of band management. Um, We've touched on this previously in, in one of our webinars. Uh, it's a brilliant solution. If you have a, a client that has a solution that is absolutely critical and you need the ability to get into that particular device or solution um, when the main connectivity to that site is down. So you can actually use the 40 extender to actually proxy in and get access through console to uh, whatever solution is. Maybe it's uh, some core switches that you need access to or uh, IPMI through, uh, through console that you need access to. Um, and the great thing about that solution uh, and getting access through the 40 extender is if you're using 40 extender cloud to manage that 40 extender, then you can actually access that functionality through 40 extender cloud. Um, through that centralized management, centralized portal. So it allows you to essentially get access to that out of band management anywhere around the world directly through 40, uh, 40 extended cloud. Um, and we've also had a couple of questions about if you can extend the out of band management to multiple devices. Um, you can actually do that. You can buy, um, I can't remember what they are off the top of my head, but essentially it's like a little USB hub and it will allow you to connect multiple console ports in through USB into the 40 extender and you can address each of those console connections uh, completely individually. So it's quite flexible. Uh, if you'd like further information about that, um, reach out. We can send you a link to the previous uh, 40 extender webinar, which we talked about in a little bit more details. Um, and of course, we can you know, answer any questions that you do have. Uh, Vina, I think we might have a question here that's probably good for for you. Uh, the question is from Todd, and he was just asking, what is the difference between 40 Manager and 40 Cloud? Or why would I use one over the other? Yeah, uh, thanks for the question, Todd. Uh, so I think what you mean by 40 Cloud is the 40 Gate Cloud. So 40 Gate Cloud is uh, more seen as a all-in-one uh, management appliance. Uh, so it integrates reporting, so limited reporting, um, as well as some management capabilities. So in uh, 40 Gate Cloud, what you can do is one-on-one -on -one management. So you can manage one uh, 40 Gate. Uh, you can have many 40 Gates, but each 40 Gate needs to be managed individually. Whereas in 40 Manager Cloud, you can leverage templates and policy packages and you can uh, deploy them. So for instance, if you've got a 10-site multi-site SD-WAN uh, and if you want uh, your user policies to be the same in every single site, all you would do is you would configure one policy package and you can leverage that to be deployed to every single site of yours. Obviously, you need to do a little bit more work uh, to make sure each of the, the 40 gates have normalized interfaces. So uh, there are other uh, aspects to it that you need to sort of configure. So once you've done that, that can be pushed across to multiple sites as well. So if you've got multiple sites, that's where I would say, uh, let's go down the 40 manager path, uh, 40 manager, multiple sites, as well as uh, you can also do uh, 40 guard updates, uh, you can also do uh, 
things like as you scale 40 manager works well however if you're a small customer and if you if you're okay with cloud-based management one-on-one -on -one, as well as built-in reporting in that instance uh, 40 uh, 40 gate cloud would be uh, well sufficient Uh, 40 manager and 40 analyzer, uh, 40 manager and 40 analyzer can work hand in hand. They can integrate uh, one to another as well. However, uh, 40 gate cloud is separate uh, to 40 analyzer. Uh, so it, you can configure it to send logs to 40 analyzer, but they'll be separate. Back to you, Kieran. I think uh, that answers the questions. Thank you very much. Uh, just looking through, I think we might have answered uh, most of the questions. Um, we did have a question during the webinar, um, which was a question around 40 client. Uh, and it says, asks, are end users and clients affected by patching to keep with, uh, to keep up with things like zero day patching? Um, I did reply back specifically to Jeff, I think it's probably a good one to discuss. Um, the main thing is it, it depends on how you're doing a vulnerability patching through 40 client. Um, there's two main things you can choose to do. You can choose to just report and monitor, and you can choose to actually automatically patch those vulnerabilities out. Um, obviously, if you're choosing to only monitor and do reporting, then it's up to the IT team to choose when they would like to do manually patching and they can choose which patches specifically um, they want to apply. Um, the great thing about that is you can actually also use zero trust tags in the meantime to restrict that client. You can do things like quarantining them or setting firewall policies that restrict their access internally into the network until you know, certain vulnerabilities are actually patched on that client. Um, so there's a lot of functionality that you can do just from a monitoring perspective. Um, then obviously, if you choose to automatically patch, a footy client will go through and, and automatically patch that client. Um, can be something such as Windows updates uh, being forced to install or um, installing a, a newer version of a piece of software. Um, and a lot of packages for the client will actually, even in the third party software, it can actually go through and update that for you. Um, now, obviously, because this is going through and physically patching uh, applications and vulnerabilities from an OS perspective, it can have an epic impact on the client uh, because some things will require the client to actually restart the patch, uh, especially Windows updates um, and uh, Mac OS updates. So, um, there is a, a little bit of a limitation sometimes for some customers from that perspective. Um, but again, you can choose what you would like to do and it's, it's quite flexible. Um, 40 client managed services, which Vinu touched on, um, just a little bit more clarification there around um, vulnerability is they will detect, report and guide your IT team through the remediation of those vulnerabilities. Um, you don't have to get them to automatically apply and do the patching. They will go out and contact the IT team first and walk them through how do we get that, that particular client or that particular vulnerability that affects multiple clients patched. I think we might have exhausted uh, the Q&A for today. That's okay. Uh, if you have any additional questions post the webinar, please feel free to, to reach out at, at any time. Um, our, our contact details right on the last slide. Uh, until then, uh, hopefully we want to help you get on the, to the road of success. Um, the next thing that we've got in line is we're doing a webinar on 40 SASE, again, extending that cloud discussion. Um, so uh, if you want to continue the journey with us and you have an interest within uh, 40 SASE and taking that conversation from your traditional you know, firewall and your network to how do we get your whole you know, network and clients patched, 40 SASE is a great solution. We'll talk about that in an upcoming webinar. Uh, reach out to your account manager at Fordnet and arrange further discussions with our pre-sales team. We're happy to sit down and, and talk through any of the solution. 
Um, familiarize yourself with the individual products, have a look at the data sheets, have a look at the auditing guides, get the technical team to look at the documentation about implementation. Um, it's very, uh, it's very, sometimes it can be very dense, but it's all extremely useful resources. Uh, request a demo, um, reach out to us. We're happy to get Coordinate involved and get some uh, demos capable for you so you can get some hands-on experience with the different solutions. Um, and then, of course, once you're familiar with the solution, uh, it's all about developing and selling that converged Fortinet security platform that works for the customers. All right, thank you so much for attending and being with us this morning. Uh, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out at presales.wavelink.com.au. Um, and again, a massive thank you to Vinu for coming here and, and joining us today. Thank you so much, Vinu. Thank you, Kieran, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Look forward to seeing us in another event. We hope everyone has a, a lovely day. Till next time, everyone.